Oh, and she, it was like an extended push, too. Was. She wasn't like click. Well, you gotta make like, sure. Oh, know? she made sure. Yeah, Summer follows through, mm -hmm. so she's gotta like That's confirm. Right. Mm. Sorry, Lucas. I know you're, that hurts your ears when you're editing this. We got Summer in the captain's chair today. Hello. This is an exciting day. So, <clears throat> listeners at home, we're back in action. And I don't have anything on my show notes except for the words good and loud. That's it. It's going to be good this and is loud. Because this is going to be a good show. <laughs> if yeah. you say so. Well, we just, we just covered this just now. We, co we covered why it's going to be a good show. Mm -hmm. For those of y'all that do, do not know, I'm going to let Summer tell, tell y'all about herself, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you that she's the future Mrs. OTG underscore Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> coming, coming soon. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? When's yeah. that? Yeah, when is that happening? December 8th of this year. 12, yeah. 8, 22. That's yeah. pretty close. Dang. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. That's like within a year. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like less months. than 10 months. Yeah. yeah. All right. We got a good show, y'all. Um, we're going to get this thing rolling. I'm through I'm through trash talking. So we got we got Summer on the show. What is what is your last name, Summer? Perez. Summer Perez. Summer Perez. I just call her Gutierrez because it's coming soon. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that works too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Summer is actually um, a partner in OTG now, an official partner. And just so happens to be engaged to um, OTG underscore Lucas, mm -hmm. yep, the man right. with the plan. Lucky her. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, she's a very lucky girl. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we got, we got a few things we're going to talk about today. And I'm going to let Summer kick this off and um, tell us a little bit about herself. And then I'm going to keep, I'm going to put the bumpers up and, and ask questions here and bumpers there. Bumpers like when you go bowling bumpers? Yeah, that's not. So like when she starts talking, mm -hmm. and every, I assume everybody's like me, and they're going to get all off in the weeds. And uh, I'm, boom, I'm going to ask a question. It's going to be like a bumper. Ping. It's going to come back. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like that game. What's that game where you where you do the thing and it bounces back and forth? Pong. Pong. Like that. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, Mrs. OTG underscore Lucas. Okay. Summer, you got the mic. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, sure. Mm. All right. So I'm 24 years old. <laughs> Um, I got my associate's degree. So you, wait, you're telling me, you're telling me that you're a cougar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucas is a young man. Yeah, yeah. yeah Luke, that's right. Lucas, you're 21, 22? 21. He's 21. He's going to yeah. turn 22. Look like at him. A month or two. He's getting. Uh. But still, yeah, yeah. Lucas going for the older ladies. <laughs> yeah, I think he was, um. 19 when I met him, and I was like, what was that? 22. 22. 22. Yeah. <laughs> Mad props. Such a stud, that's why. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's because of his good looks. Mm -hmm. uh, go, go ahead, I'm sorry, I had to. So you're 24? Okay. Yeah. So, um, a little bit about me. Where'd you grow up, Summer? Uh, Magnolia, Texas. Magnolia, Texas. Jessica's from Magnolia, Texas. Oh, is she really? Yeah, she went to Magnolia High School. I think I knew... I that and then so i went to magnolia west so okay. i grew up on like the old magnolia yeah side. Further, further west over yeah. um like closer to 290 i think i'm not so good with roads 1488 but... goes all the way through yeah and yeah, it yeah. Hits 290 so you're over yes okay. yes she and was in i guess the newer the yeah the yeah and they would be like our rivals mm -hmm. or whatever but um yeah i went to magnolia west and i would have honestly preferred probably to have gone to magnolia high mm -hmm. but you know that's that's not it's a very it. fancy place. Yeah, yeah. Like, by, it's like on the side of the highway. It's all big. You told me about it. It's very nice over yeah, there. The air smells good and everything. Mm. Yeah, people from Magnolia think that they're better than everybody else. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's that's, that's my, strictly <laughs> me talking trash to Jessica. Uh, so what year did you graduate, Summer? Um. Yeah, so... You didn't. No, I did. Okay. <laughs> no, I did. I'm just like, school was never my thing. So I graduated, I think, um, a couple months earlier okay. like i graduated um like in the winter time mm -hmm. compared to in the summertime when right. it's like normal, normal. Like when it's May. extra hot and yeah, they can stand outside yeah. and sweat yeah you know, i didn't have to go through any of that good <laughs> they deal. just mailed me my diploma oh nice. <laughs> nice but i think it was 2016 see i don't even keep up with it i don't even remember because it was something in my mind that i was just like I just want to get. She doesn't it. spend any time remembering. Yeah. She's talking oh, about yeah. right now in the future. In the yeah, future, exactly. I like exactly. That. that 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 pass is done with. Yeah. Good deal. So, graduate in 2016 ish. Yes. And then what did you do? So I really didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I. Um, I don't think anybody does. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, I went to like Lone Star College. Mm-hmm. I got my associates. Uh, I still didn't know what I was really doing, so I wasn't about to go and spend thousands, you know, tens of thousands of dollars going to college right. for something that I didn't even really want because, you know. Right. I'm a pretty big advocate for not going to college, generally speaking. Yeah, personally. yeah. And, of course, go to college if you're going to, you know, be a doctor, a lawyer, you know. Right, there's certain something things, that, absolutely. Exactly. But so, most things, yeah, in life you don't. You just need the experience. You need real-world experience. Yeah, exactly. So um, I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, I got my personal trainer certificate, mm-hmm. and I kind of, like, thought that was what I was going to do. Yeah. But then I'm like, no, you know, I don't think this is for me either. Mm-hmm. Um, so I didn't do, I stopped doing that and I actually got my real estate license and Hell yeah. I only did that though for like a month or two. That I, was like, that was like when Lucas was, uh, he did something to, moving when he was a moving employee he moved <laughs> for like a oh, couple of months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was a mover yeah, for one he, week. A week, yeah. <laughs> he, hired, a month. he hired in, he signed up to do the job that everybody hates. You, you lasted moving. longer than Lucas though. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So How go. long did you, I, uh, how long did you try personal training for? So I think I had a bad experience probably. In the beginning? Yeah. I only did it for like two months and it was like at an all women's gym mm. <clears throat> and it was more of like the, an older crowd. So like 50 like plus. Right. And I didn't honestly, you know, really know what I was doing fully. And Yeah, I just, you were new, you're young. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I was just kind of like. I didn't the, have a good experience. The or, management didn't help you out, help you feel comfortable no, with no. personal training, yeah. their clients. Because you were, what, like 19 or 20? Yeah, yeah. Right? And yeah, it's definitely a thing for sure. When you're a teenager mm-hmm. and you're having to work with older, I know we've talked about this. We like, need with some you guidance. Out on the refineries and stuff and you're working with these older people. It's kind of an uncomfortable thing, you oh, know, yeah. when you're so young getting and trying to get into a career mm-hmm. and then you're surrounded by older people. And especially when they're looking to you for advice. Yeah. yeah. And then, you they, know, and there's a part of them that doesn't want to listen to you because they're older. Mm-hmm. And then combined with you're a little uncomfortable because you're young and you're new and nobody's mm-hmm. guiding you in this new, in this new career. Yeah. And, and then you're trying to cater to these people who are already kind of like, what is this young chick? No, she doesn't know anything. Right. Yeah. I guess it's a recipe. Can't compare to me and yeah. what I do. Right. I guess it's a, right. I, I guess it's a recipe for like, eh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So like, I think it was just a, it was just a not a great experience, and mm-hmm. so I honestly was just kind of like in limbo and stuff, not knowing what I'm wanting to do. Mm-hmm. But then you got your real estate license. Yeah, I got my real estate license mm-hmm. that only lasted like a month, but I did sell a house. Yes. I had no clue what I was doing. Wow. But you did it. I did it. You got a commission check. Yes, yeah, so I got one oh. commission check, but then I was like, no, this is not <laughs> was it wasn't really worth it. I mean, you just didn't like it. You didn't enjoy doing real estate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Honestly, I don't know. I wasn't like in a. I'm not in the. I wasn't in the mindset I'm in now. Mm-hmm. I didn't really know what I was doing, so I feel like I was just trying things. I originally wanted to be a personal trainer because I thought that's all I could really do. Really. And then I thought because I wasn't getting a college degree. Right. And I thought, what can I do without a college degree? And that's mm-hmm. also what led me to real estate. So I think I saw. I didn't see enough like potential in me and I thought that's all I could do so that's right. all I strived for. Interesting. Well, you know we we live in a we live in a strange time where um, I guess I don't want to say strange we live in a time I remember uh, being in high school <coughs> junior senior year and pretty much um, any adult especially the teachers around you were basically like what college are you going to if you're not mm-hmm. going to go to college you're basically not going to be anybody mm-hmm. you're not going to you're not going to do anything and you know, you kind of take that to heart as a kid. You look up to these people, or you say you look up to them. Um, you it's, trust them, yeah. right? And and they're kind of like uh, influential in your life, and they're telling you, oh, you're not going to... And I'm like you. I hated school. I know Phil did too. Yeah. Um, and, and I was like, man, I don't... I don't want to go to college. I mean, the only thing that sounded appealing was playing sports and partying at that, <laughs> at that time, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'll go to college for that. Yeah, but right. um, anyway, they're, they're telling you that if you don't go to school and you don't get a four-year degree you're not going to be successful and it's the only way and, <clears throat> and this and that and the other. And I'm here to tell you that that's not the case because mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm one of many people I know who have, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm successful, but they'll have you believe that you're not going to ever get a job or ever make any kind of money right. uh, if you don't have it. And I've, I've done fairly well mm-hmm. uh, thus far without the degree, mm-hmm. but I, I know exactly how you were feeling. Cause you're like, Oh wow. 
there's, I can't do anything. I'm not going to have a college degree. So I'm going to try this uh, little thing or I'm going to try that thing. I'm not even going to try to fulfill my potential because I already feel like I'm being, because I don't have a degree. I don't have a degree. So now I can't fulfill it. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So uh, I I know exactly where you're coming from. So you did real estate for a little while Mm -hmm. and you're kind of like, this sucks. Yeah. I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah. And you had, this was after personal training, right? Correct. So. Well, okay. I'm going to be wasn't. honest. My memory is not great. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. <laughs> it was before. I, was, I started dating her. Yeah. It was before. Uh, it was before, before personal training. Real estate oh. before training. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all can, I'm just going to have to Google it. What did summer, <laughs> what did summer do first? <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, you, you tried both of these things mm-hmm. and then what happened? What was the, what was the result when you were like, Okay, you would, you would quit both of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, what'd you do then? Um, so honestly, I ended up doing nannying, mm-hmm. like on from care dot com. Right. Um, I actually did that in high school. So so you're um uh, you're helping families with with their kids. Yeah, it was okay. like after school, like picking yeah. them up, watching them. Oh, okay. So I actually did that for a couple of years with like the same family. So it was for some time. Really, okay. Um, and then. I went through like a, a big, uh, experience in my life, like, mm-hmm. a, you know, and we don't know <laughs> <laughs> actually, you got really high one day. <laughs> like, no, no, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just thinking Joe Rogan experience. Yeah. Which, yeah. <laughs> no, no. So mm-hmm. I went through, um, a divorce. I was married. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, know that. I actually met Philip. It's strange to look back, but, oh, um, yeah. yeah. What? Well, you knew it because you, you saw him. At the, I, well, I didn't know you were married. Oh. No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, so we were married, and I remember there was a um, pop-up at iCryo. <laughs> like, there was going to be, like, Paige Hathaway and, the, mm-hmm. like, these big I things. remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this and was, I was like, several years back. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go there and take a picture of them and all that stuff. Yeah. And then Philip was there with his booth. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. then I was like, oh, you know, like, they, they drew me in and stuff, and I actually bought a cup. One of the shaker cups. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I met him there. Mm-hmm. And then a couple years. So did you even know Lucas? No, no, no I no, didn't no. know him then. No. Oh, because you were married. Okay, yeah. 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 Right. And then like two years later go by. And then I don't know how we met. I may have followed him. He may have followed me. She, she followed me first. She Whoa, slid into okay. the DMs. Yeah. yeah. So who slid into the DMs first? Because I know it was on Instagram. Yes, technically. It was probably Lucas. So she yeah. followed and you slid. <laughs> I, was I, I would say I deemed her with a friendly intention of just like saying something. Friendly, like huh? But you slid into the DMs. I, I mean, not really. What do you mean? <laughs> did, did you DM her or yes not? Yes or no? It turned into that later. Did you DM her or not? I did. So you slid. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he slid. Okay. So he slid. You right. followed and he slid. Yes. Even if it sliding into the DMs, people take it as a very... Uh, Offensive. It's like, yeah. well, it's kind of like a... Um, it's almost like swiping right on Tinder or something yeah. or whatever, right? Oh, like yeah, it, yeah. it, but to me, it literally means that you DM somebody. Yeah, that's like, all it means. Like if I was to message, uh, uh, DM a famous person, I would call I would call it sliding. Like I yeah. slid. To, to me, it's very it's not sexualized, right? Yeah. Or I like see. Uh, it's just de- sending them a, a yeah. DM. yeah yeah yeah. Send a, a de- so uh, you followed him. Message. He direct messages mm-hmm. you, and it was very friendly. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. It was like I posted a story of my um, drink from Smoothie King, uh-huh. and he commented, and he was like, oh, that's my favorite flavor. Yeah. Right? He's yeah. like, and also I like older women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not know the age yeah. difference. I thought he was maybe older than me. Older. She was like 22 at the time. <laughs> yeah, I like older women. <laughs> yeah. And then so that spiraled into that, and then, of course, he was training at – OTG, mm-hmm. and then oh, okay, that's how yeah. this came about. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And so then I saw Philip again. You remembered, <clears throat> you remember at that time at the booth or at the uh, I Cryo event. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, shout, shout out Chase. Yeah, uh, <laughs> known as Chase. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So you're at the I Cryo event and uh, you meet Phil, and fast forward a little bit, uh, you're you become single, mm-hmm. and then you and Lucas start kind of chatting. Kind of talking, kind yeah, of yeah, just ta- just casually. talking, like yeah, like I very I, friendly conversation. Very friendly, there Lucas really, would say. There Pro- was professional. Like, there was, <laughs> <laughs> like I had no intention of the, of it going. Like I didn't think, oh. you know. What about you, Lucas? Oh, no, he knew. <laughs> Lucas knew. He knew. He was I like, was, she's the one. After the after is, after the after I slid in, and I was like, oh, okay. this is the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. <laughs> so so. 
You follow. Oh, he, he, uh, follow. he was working his magic. Those who can't hear him, he's working his magic. Yeah. So you slid into the DMs. He follows, mm-hmm. and then, or no, you follow. He slides in the DMs, and at that time, you're working. Lucas is working OTG. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so you're like you kind of start. Uh, uh, did you you went up to the gym right? Well, at some point. First, yeah, like our first. It? Yeah, we worked out at OTG. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. And and so that's that was the that was the first time y'all met. Yes. Oh, this is romantic. <laughs> y'all met at the gym for a workout. This is badass. Not the typical Chipotle. day. Huh? Oh, Chipotle. Oh, dude, you took her to Chipotle. Yeah. Oh, he was putting the moves yeah. on you. <laughs> he was putting the moves on her. He took her to Chipotle. Fast. Workout in Chipotle. Hey, look. It's a little quick. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Coming in hot. One, gym. These are steps to dating. Okay. Two, Two, Chipotle. Chipotle. Uh-huh. Three. And then three, marriage. marriage. <laughs> there you That's go. it. Yep. That's my notes. Easy. One, two, three. <laughs> awesome. Oh, wow. It only Sorry. takes, what, Sorry two and a half years for that to play out? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It happens like that. So you and Lucas start dating. And um, so, hold on. I, w- I want to back up a little bit because yeah. you, the first thing you did at when you, once you had your associates is you went and got this personal training. Uh, well, real estate first. Yes. Real okay. estate first. first. And then you got personal yeah, training. Yeah. Correct. What had, was uh, um, fitness like always a part of your life where you always, did you train in high school? Did you play sports? No. So no? that's the thing. I did not do any sports. I was not athletic. Sure. When I was like a kid, right. like 10 and under maybe. Yeah. I feel like everybody's kind of 10, before you're, you know, eight, nine, 10 years old, everybody's kind of like the same, mm-hmm. you know, like 12, when you, as you're becoming a teenager, people yeah. start to split off. Yeah. yeah. And become better and not as good. So yeah. you weren't, you didn't have any kind of fitness background. No, no, no fitness, no sports, no nothing. Very it wasn't until, um, my senior year of high school, uh, towards the end of it, where I guess I was just like, I was sitting on the couch and I was watching mm-hmm. TV and there was a commercial for plant fitness. And mm-hmm. I was just like, that. I know <laughs> that's where it started. Yeah. I was like, okay, that looks interesting. Let me go check it out. Yeah. And so I checked it out and I had no idea what I was doing. Of course, since I've never worked out before, right. total beginner. And never so, been to a gym probably. No. Okay. Yeah. First time. So I would Google, you know, Google workouts, Google form, Google YouTube, like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And probably for the first year, honestly, looking back, I thought I knew what I was doing, but I really didn't. I think that's everybody's that's story. Every, that was that's me for like everybody's the first story. Story. Yeah. three years, probably. <laughs> that's yeah. everybody's story right there. Egg whites and toast. Yeah. Bill's breakfast for how long? <laughs> Forever. Two but, egg whites? But at, even though you look back now, at that time, you felt good about what you were doing, right? right and that's right. what matters. Yeah. But what's funny is I would think going to Planet Fitness, and you know that ab section they have? Uh So I would be in there for like 30, 45 minutes thinking I'm working my abs out and that's the way to do it. Uh Yeah. Yeah. No. Hell not yeah. Chest and biceps. Chest and biceps. For guys, only. it's chest and biceps. Girls, yeah. it's abs and yeah. glutes. Yeah, that's exactly. It. Yeah. Mostly uh-huh. glutes, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, I go to the gym and I see the same girls hitting glutes over and over again, and you do your thing. Yeah. I'm happy for it. Whatever you. puts a smile on your face. Yeah. You know, Honestly, but. I like working out more with like how. I guess, like, you could say the males work out, like, you know, chest and buys or, like... So, you, you do more of a um, I mean, I do traditional, like, traditional split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I right. mean, right now, I do, like, um, I do two leg days. So, mm-hmm. one's, like, a quad focus and one's more, like, hamstring. That's focus. what I do, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so. then I do the others. There's, like, chest and back and then, like, shoulders and arms. and Nice. So, that's, a, that's more of a then. traditional, more of a traditional mm-hmm. style split. Yeah. So, that, so, there's something that I want to pick out of this, though. So... You, you, you graduate high school, you get your associates, and yeah, okay, maybe you didn't, um, I guess, excel right off the bat at, mm. at real estate or at training, but there's something to be said for pivoting because she, you were, you, you were kind of entrepreneurial mind, minded here because you weren't going to just settle, you know, mm-hmm. you weren't going to settle into a job just because you saw the opportunity to get a paycheck. You're like, okay, I'm going to start doing this. Okay, I don't really like it. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to, I'm going to refocus. I'm going to try something else. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a lot of people are brave enough to, um, change direction, change direction. Pivot is the right word. Yeah. Yeah. Most people aren't brave enough to pivot. They just keep doing it because it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. I got to get paid somehow. I got to get a paycheck. It's paying the bills and they don't, they don't ever stop and go, Hey, this ain't working for me. You know, at the time you're 19 or 20, Mm -hmm. I can't, I'm not going to be doing this forever and I don't even like it right mm-hmm. there's something to be said for that I want to commend you on that because that's that's pretty cool um, thank you <clears throat> you don't see you don't see anybody especially young people doing that mm-hmm. so pretty cool um, all right so fast forward back to 
working out and Chipotle with Lucas. <laughs> so y'all become an official thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Right? And then, uh, so were you nannying still at this time or what were you doing so, for work? No, after like, after nannying and um, real estate and that personal trainer, after all that's gone, I kind of just honestly jumped from little jobs to little yeah. jobs. Trying out different things. Yeah, yeah. Mostly just kind of like, getting fun, just trying to get to pay the bills right <laughs> mainly and then like doing some freelance work and stuff mm -hmm. um so there was never like a real like secure type of job right like a w-2 style 40 hours a week anything yeah like that. yeah like i yeah i never mm -hmm. worked like a full 40 like right. regular type nine to five and all that stuff so you're out here trying all these different trying all this different stuff trying mm -hmm. to trying to make some money mm -hmm. okay and then um so now let's talk about where we're at now Okay. So, so <clears throat> everybody knows Lucas's story. He was at OTG for a while, and then he moved up there to be with, I guess, to be with you yeah. or to, mm -hmm. to, to live with you or yes. near you, whatever it was. And then um, just fast forward through all that, now, and you b both moved back here. Mm -hmm. And Lucas starts One Perfect Shot. He didn't want to be a firefighter. He didn't want to be a mover. <laughs> she didn't want to be a personal trainer at that time mm -hmm. yeah. and didn't want to be a real estate agent. So y'all moved back down here. Mm -hmm. uh, you're both kind of freelance, and he's doing freelance videography, content creation, working right. for OTG a little bit, mm -hmm. working for other people, and then um, this this idea, this OTG idea co comes to, who, which one of y'all? Uh, well, when she moved down here, mm -hmm. you you had a job. Yeah. And she, when she moved down, then she didn't have a job. Oh, anymore. you had a job there. No, yeah. so I had a remote, I ended up getting a remote job. Oh, that's right. And it only yeah. lasted like a month, not because of me, but because of somebody else. Right. And due to them being fired, they no longer needed me. Oh. So then I was job Unemployed. You're unemployed. Yeah. yeah. And that's when y'all, that's around the time y'all came back here. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how did we get to, I want to know, I want to get into all the, the uh, okay, I'll tell the story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to get, I want to get into all that on this show. So Summer needed a job mm -hmm. and we had uh, a client at the gym that really wanted a female to train her. Okay. And at the time. Everybody's got their preference. Yeah. We didn't have a female trainer. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, Cause you, we, well, you have had them. You just didn't. At that we time. had, yeah. At the time we didn't because we had a female trainer. Um, she was on maternity leave and you know, ah. when you have your first baby, you just never know how things are going to yeah. go. Yeah. So she ended up not coming back. Right. Yeah. And so we had this, uh, we had a client who really wanted someone uh, as a female, as a trainer. Summer was at the gym working out with Lucas one time. And, um, it just kind of, kind of worked out where she was like, Hey, you know, maybe summer could train. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so we kind of came to our own agreement at the time uh, for a way for Summer to to train Jess, right? Mm -hmm. And it ended up working out. So now mm -hmm. Summer has this thing where she can train somebody, make some money. And so it was just kind of like that for a while. And then eventually it started to evolve into it's maybe it could be more. It's important to note here that you had spent the last several years actually um, – uh, getting more into fitness though, personally, not like oh, training people, yeah. Mm -hmm. but cause I remember in high school you were saying, or younger life, you didn't really do any, any training or anything, right, right. but you had spent these past several years leading up to this training yourself, yes. right? Like getting into the gym, working out, you were starting to fall in love with it. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then, so, cause I mean, obviously you can look at you and tell that you you're serious about your, uh, your physical fitness. Right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> fast forward to, uh, when you were in the gym working out and Je I guess Jess was there at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, so I didn't want people to think, well, she's just some girl, you know? Oh no, no, no. You had, uh, you, had, you had been, you had been working out and for what? How, how long? Oh yeah. For what? Five yeah. or six years now. Yeah. yeah. Five, right. Yeah. Like yeah. five years. Mm -hmm. Okay. People might say, hear you say, well, I didn't really like personal training at the time and think that you didn't oh. know anything about it. Right. So, yeah. So she spent five years self-educating. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And then, and Which then, is the same thing for myself. Neither of us went to school for, personal training or fitness mm -hmm. or kinesiology. Mm -hmm. uh, we just have a love for fitness yeah. and mm -hmm. you, you learn it yourself. OJT. Yeah, exactly. Uh, on the job, you training. know, and, uh, so yeah, then, so that worked out. Right. And then, um, you had an opportunity for another job, right? Right. Is what happened. So summer had an opportunity for another job mm -hmm. to go full time. So she mm -hmm. wasn't going to be able to train at all anymore. Are you going to be do, uh, working for a moving company? Oh no. Okay. Fire, <laughs> firefighter. No way. No? Never. Okay. <laughs> okay. Chipotle. 
Oh no. Okay. <laughs> just want to make sure. <laughs> I mean, because that first that had to make a real impression on you. She's like, I don't want to go work there. I love Chipotle. <laughs> Lucas is like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Lucas will come more often. Yeah. You know? So uh, you had another opportunity. Go ahead. Yeah. So this other job came up, right? Mm-hmm. Is that what happened? Yeah. 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 And uh, we really wanted her to be able to continue training at the gym. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how can we make this happen? Um, for sure, we wanted a female president. And at this time, too, she wasn't like um, uh, a, reg- a standard trainer at the gym. It was yeah. just an agreement that her and I made as like a one-off mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. You know, and um, but w- I, it was nice to have a female presence, mm-hmm. right, was was a big, yeah. a big part of it. Um, she had developed a relationship with, with Jess and she was, uh, just a lot of compliments, you know, said mm-hmm. Summer was a great trainer. I was looking for a way to kind of have less responsibility mm-hmm. at the gym and be able to get away a little bit more mm-hmm. often. Summer is well, very split entre- the load with somebody. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Summer is very entrepreneurial. She was looking for an opportunity that was not a standard nine to five type of situation. And mm-hmm. <clears throat> honestly, it kind of. Everything just kind of came together, you know, it was all, I, I feel like it was a real good winning situation for everyone. Mm-hmm. So we just kind of sat down, talked about it. Mm-hmm. Hey, can you commit to, you know, learning? Can you commit to learning all these things that I'll teach you yep. about how to, to run the gym? Operate in the gym. Operating. Mm-hmm. And then eventually I can leave at a, and not have to be there all the time. And, um, you know, you, this is how it's going to work out. You're not like, um. She felt like it was a good opportunity, I think, and you mm-hmm. can comment, like, cut me off if you need to. Oh, no, you're she, right. She felt like it was a good opportunity to do something special with her life and not, right. and, and don't, I'm not saying this in a, in a negative way or anything, mm-hmm. but she wanted to be more than someone that was a personal trainer at, mm-hmm. at a yeah. gym owned by someone else, right? right. Yeah. So now she has this opportunity to come in and grow with the business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And, and learn a lot of skills to be able to, you know, even if years from now it, it, it separates or whatever, mm-hmm. or we have multiple locations, mm-hmm. Summer has all the skills eventually that I have right. to be able to do everything. And obviously in a female version. Right. You know, which is important as well. Yeah, so. for sure. So what I'm hearing is... Um, you were just kind of training um, a single a single client, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it was just a deal y'all worked out. You were going to leave for another job, and Phil's like, well, hey, let's work something out. And um, it, it was, it was, it, you were, he saw, y'all both saw more in you than just, hey, uh, just stay here and be a personal trainer. Mm-hmm. It was right. like, hey, you can train here, but why don't you stay here and let's partner up. Yeah. And and let's do more than just um, you work for me as a personal. Because we both know that if you were personal training, showing up, yeah. training some clients, getting paid for it, going home, you wouldn't be very happy. Wouldn't be very. Oh, fulfilled. Yeah, no, you wouldn't I be fulfilled. Def- fulfilled is she wouldn't feel fulfilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. No, I, I wouldn't. Right. You're exactly right. So, so, uh, so this you, is a way that she can be fulfilled, hopefully mm-hmm. at the same time, mm-hmm. and fill a spot that we really needed in yep. the gym, anyways. Right. So y'all hashed out a deal. We won't get into the specifics because it's too much for the audience to handle. Uh, <laughs> we won't get into the specifics, but uh, essentially you're part owner yes. of OTG. Yes. Part and of you me. still uh, train, right? You still yeah. train? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, I mean, Phil still trains too. So basically y'all, y'all's roles are very similar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, owner, operator, slash trainer, slash, so you work on and in mm-hmm. the business. Correct. That's pretty cool. Everything that Philip does. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> yeah, pretty Except much. You do it better. Wait, what? Well, Except for you do it better. Oh, yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I'm there yet. <laughs> Basically, our role is we train as needed, right? Mm-hmm. Our role is to make sure that all the clients are having the proper experience, especially when they're getting started, mm-hmm. right? So we're uh, talking to people as they get started, making sure that they're really comfortable. Because what happens in personal training is in maybe you don't maybe you know this maybe you don't it's just uh maybe something that we've talked about i'm not sure but what happens is you have a personal trainer and then as soon as your session time is done mm-hmm. session time which we don't follow session times but when your session time is done your trainer has another client so they don't have time to sit down and talk to you about 
Hey, what are you eating after you work mm-hmm. out? Hey, what are you what struggling are you, with? What are you struggling with? What do you need help with? There's no time for stuff like that. Yeah. So that's the role that Summer and I play at the gym. We we have what we call strategy sessions mm-hmm. with all the clients, you know, whenever they need it. And yeah, they're whoever they usually train with is probably busy. Right. So they have us. One of us is always available for the yeah. clients at all times. Good deal. That's kind of how. So kind yeah, of so they, they can get done training and yeah. Maybe um, whoever they're training with ha- does have another client back mm-hmm. to back, but they can come sit down with one of y'all mm-hmm. That's right. and discuss any, basically talk anything um, fitness journey related and, and try to kind of uh, figure, what do you call it? Strategy? We call it a strategy session. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just, strategy a, session. yeah, because you're sitting down and you're mapping out a strategy for AK. Okay, well, you're sitting down, l- allow the client to tell us what they're struggling with, right? Mm-hmm. And then we come up with a strategy together Mm -hmm. that is usually what we'd like to say is the client is here now and we want you over here somewhere right and our goal in the strategy session is to sit down and meet them in the middle and slowly but surely Mm -hmm. pull them over in the direction that we want them to go good deal i like strategy you know who has a good strategy lucas Lucas. jim (laughs) chipotle that's a pretty good strategy that is shout out to lucas on the strategy yeah Yeah. so so you're here we are summer this has been a couple of months back right uh No, it's only been about like like two. I started February fourteenth. Oh, Val, it's a very special day. Was that I know. strategic, I Lucas? That day because it was Lucas, day. Day. I think that was a tr- <laughs> Lucas's strategy. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Look at him. What? <laughs> it went way over his head. Valentine's Day. Yeah. So oh, as Valentine's Day. Yeah, February fourteenth. Oh, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a strategy. <laughs> so you're a month in. Yeah. Uh, this is so. This is this is really cool. So. You're now an uh, owner owner operator, um, along with Phil, mm-hmm. and um, so let's talk about let's talk a little bit about your goal. Um, I, I I I guess individually and within partnered with OTG. Mm-hmm. Uh, where do you want to take it? Where do you want to? Um, what do you want to do? And what do you want the gym to do to do? Um, so I feel, or I think that, you know, our goal is to expand outside of just the gym Mm -hmm. so we can reach more people, like get an online presence Yep. so we can, um, reach more people out there, you know, start and start expanding upon the brand and like what OTG really is. Right. Right. So, so that, that's kind of what Phil talked about last time. Um, you want to reach as many people as you can Mm -hmm. in as many ways as you can Right. grow the brand. Um, what, so what about for, um, yourself? I know that, uh, obviously you want to make some money. Obvi- <laughs> right, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously you want to make some money. We don't have to cover that. Um, do you see yourself, um, <clears throat> do you see yourself continuing to train, uh, people and what do you see with your fitness career? I think we've talked about, um, briefly talked about, uh, you maybe competing one day or, or oh pff, that was just like a throwing it out there okay yeah i mean so is that a yes so you're gonna um, do it there's no sounds there's like a like, no to me <laughs> like, i think she's gonna do if it if i have like free time and like free money to spend when that day you know comes and stuff like maybe i want to try it out like yeah. sure but that's definitely not on my uh priorities Radar. okay right now so you're not gonna it's not on the priority list to uh, compete right now. Yeah, right now. I mean, sure, maybe later just to see what it's like. Because I remember when I was getting in my fitness journey, I was like really wanting to compete mm-hmm. and be everything fitness. But I found the balance, of course. And now right. my mind's just, it's not there. It's- I think I think, um, I think you uh, kind of touched on something pretty, uh, I guess, accurate or a lot of things. So competing takes a lot of time. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of mental, uh, yeah, mental focus. Um, uh, focus, right? Yeah, it takes so to be able to. Um, I'm not saying it can't be done. There's been a lot of successful right, people right, that have course. worked full time and and operated a company and uh, competed. Mm-hmm. But I think it, <clears throat> seeing watching Jessica do it and work a full time job, you know, I just don't know if. Um, uh, it's feasible, right? If you're trying, if you know, you, you're, you're part of this, you just um, became a partner in this company mm-hmm. and you're trying to grow it and you're trying to grow the brand as a whole. You're trying to grow your presence mm-hmm. to be, to, to compete right in the middle of that would yeah. be, Too much. That, that would be Don't a crazy, like. that would be a crazy recipe. Yeah. So, um, but you know, I, I just feel like, um, somebody who is as, so I, 
from what I know of you, you're pretty laser focused on your diet and your training most of oh, the yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, so it wouldn't be much for you to turn to uh, turn the heat up, flip the switch. Right, right. No, I would like that because I would, you know, I'm curious to see how I can change my body physically mm-hmm. and like how far I can push myself and stuff. Oh, yeah. You, you, so. you, you could get it done. Yeah. So, um, so not on the agenda right now to compete. Right yeah. now your focus is on the business. Yeah. Growth. Brand, mm-hmm. some money, marriage, yeah, gym, and Chipotle. Yeah, a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good deal. So, um, and try to keep Lucas from eating so many pop tarts. Yeah. Oh, I pop tarts. Trust me, I try. <laughs> no, not pop tarts. <laughs> What's your thing? Toaster strudel. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty good. I don't know what you are. Yeah. Well, when there's Pop Tarts at the gym, he will. He will. Yeah. yeah. I saw y'all with a big tray of wings. Did you eat that whole tray oh. of wings? Lucas ate them all. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, I had like two. I know summer didn't summer. Oh no, Phil, I did. Phil I did. Had way I... more than two. You're, you're <laughs> summer had one. Phil had two, and you had the rest. That's yeah, the story I, I got. I think he had like thirty-four. <laughs> <laughs> I think we split it pretty evenly. Yeah, probably so. I had eight actually. I don't have yeah. any, <laughs> and they were awesome. They A little were... bit pissed off. <laughs> okay. So, all right, summer. Obvi- we we're going to ask you the question that we ask all the guests, and um, I'm going to answer. The, I want to give you the. I'm going to give the crowd the first answer because a lot of people miss this whenever I ask it to them. How has fitness impacted oh. or influenced your life? Uh, changed your life? And I'm going to go ahead and give the the first answer because a lot of people. I don't even think Phil said this. Um, obviously, it pays at this point. It it pays your bills, right? It right. is how you earn your living. Yeah. First yeah. of all, so a lot of people that work within the um, like uh, I think we had Josh Lane on, mm-hmm. and I asked him. And he's like, well, you know, it helps me escape. And he, he kind of went on what it does for him. And I was like, well, you forgot to say that it pays your bills. It's your livelihood. It's your livelihood. So aside from that, how has, um, how has fitness impacted your life? How, how has it changed you for the better? Um, I would say it, it really has changed my mindset yeah. more than anything. Like, of course, it's changed my physique and all that. But right. it's really impacted my mindset, like learning discipline, learning consistency, mm. goal setting. Like all these things that are good for, you know, beneficial for other aspects of your life, not right. just in right. fitness. Right. So that um, there's a saying that if you, if you if you get the discipline down, if you get your mind right, right mm-hmm. with the discipline, the consistency, mm-hmm. the physique, the physique's gonna follow. Right. It, you're gonna get the that that's a that's a byproduct. But the most important thing is getting that mentality, get that get it dialed in, yes. get focused on what you want. Mm-hmm. How who you are right now, who you want to be, how you're going to get there. Mm-hmm. And if you can laser focus on that and go for it every day, the, the physical results are going to come. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just, it's inevitable, right? Yeah. So um, that's that's absolutely the way that I see it, and I think that that's very true. Um, and a lot of people, I guess they don't take, they they just look in the mirror and they, they only uh, take inventory of that. They don't take inventory of what's mm-hmm. going on up here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Are, are you, uh, do you have a goal? Are you being specific? Are you doing all, are you doing X, Y, Z, A, B, C that you need to do to get to that goal? Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, they just look in the mirror and they let it discourage them. And then, you know, they, they go off their diet or they don't train or they do something there. So listen, most, so a lot of people don't even have a goal to have a great physique. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe some of them have a goal to have a huge investment portfolio, but they can't, you know, quit spending money on frivolous things or uh, whatever it is that's impeding them from getting to their right. goal, right? And, you know, they just look at what they have, what what is reflecting back at them, and they're like, oh, man, you know, it sucks, it sucks. But they don't, they don't take into consideration what's going on inside their head. Mm-hmm. And do, are they being disciplined? Are they being consistent? Are they doing the things that they need to do to move the needle the right mm-hmm. way? So yeah, uh, exactly. that's pretty cool. Phil, what else you got, man? That's it. Is that it? Yeah, I don't have anything um, in particular other than just keep growing. You know, we're excited. I think uh, I've already 
for sure been able to take my evenings and start working on different things, which mm-hmm. is really great. All because you know, of Summer. Because Summer can be there at the gym. <laughs> yeah. She got her first client the other day. Like, uh, well, actually, the best, <laughs> but, you know, I got it. <laughs> yeah. She, you know, from the initial phone call to mm-hmm. inviting them into the gym, showing them around, mm-hmm. doing the initial kind of goal setting and everything and creating the plan mm-hmm. and, you know, getting them to sign up and everything. Um, and yeah, like she said, you know, little bumps in the road, but that's hey, okay. I'm, st- I'm learning. Like it's, all, it's a, yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot in, to take in. Yeah. And it's I'm definitely journey. operating in like my weak, weak points. Mm-hmm. So it's, you just got to bear with me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, um, <laughs> if you, if you do something that sucks every day or that you don't like every single day, mm-hmm. there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of successful people that say that they, do something uh, that sucks to, every to, day. Do something that sucks every yeah. day to keep to keep you, and, and maybe it is to get better. Obviously, that's the only way you're going to get better at that mm-hmm. thing, right? Um, and I'm assuming you're talking about uh, sales, yeah, or, or yeah. that's not really your uh, oh, yeah, strong no, point, right? No. Mm-hmm. But it, obviously, if you keep doing that every day, you're going to get better right, at it. Right. But I think there's something to be said also, so yes, that, but also for doing something that sucks or you're not mm-hmm. good at every single day to... Uh, to keep you sharp, to keep you, um, I guess. It reminds you that you can overcome things. Right, right. Yeah. That's what right. happens to me. Is it, as soon as you do something that you don't want to do, and when you're done, you're like, it builds, wasn't that and bad. It, and yeah. it builds your confidence yeah. in yourself. Yeah. You, you build more, um, uh, uh, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. Basically, you, you're more confident in yourself. You start to trust yourself. Mm-hmm. You, you build mm-hmm. a reputation with yourself, right? Mm-hmm. And you say, I, I'm somebody who can do, I'm somebody who can do shit that I don't like to do, or mm-hmm. I can do hard things. Yeah. I can do uh, uncomfortable things. And uh, man, if you, if you just, if you believe in yourself, I mean, you don't really yeah. need <clears throat> to To me, it's, things. it's about when you do something and when you're done, you're like, it wasn't even that bad. Yeah, That's usually. the big thing for yeah. me. My, for sure. Usually <laughs> mine is getting to the gym after work. Not right. gonna lie. <laughs> now, I love to train. Yeah. When it's convenient and I right. got plenty of time, mm-hmm. but when I'm tired and it's after work oh, yeah. and I still go to the gym. And then when I'm done, I'm like, I'm a bad motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> or, sorry, yeah. Lucas, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad M effer. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That's right. Well, Summer, it was great to have you. I'm, gl- I'm glad that the uh, all the hundreds of thousands of listeners at home mm-hmm. right, yes. got to uh, listen to you and uh, looking forward to the future with you and OTG. So you're right now you are fit girl summer. Is it, there's an underscore Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's been my Instagram username. <laughs> it just, you know, I like it. It goes good. You know, it sounds flows. I'm not being a hater, and mm-hmm. I don't but there's an underscore. Instagram. It needs to be a dot. But I think maybe <laughs> you need to change it to OTG dot summer. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Before. Is that what you're going to do? I don't know because I don't even know. Lucas has been putting some pressure on her. Yeah. Yeah. Lucas putting heat on her. <laughs> hey, take her to Chipotle. Oh, she'll do anything you want. Yeah. But uh, so you're, is it, what is it? Fit girl underscore summer? Yeah. So give summer a follow, even though she doesn't really do Instagram. Yeah. I, uh, give her a follow, show her some love and um, be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for that gym Chipotle and wedding. It's coming, <laughs> it's coming in hot. It is. Uh, anything else summer? Uh, no, I think that's pretty much it. You got about to go train? I already did that. Oh, you're going to train again? No. Uh, no, it's <laughs> not a two day I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> Bill, anything else? Um, no, I think we pretty much covered it. Yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, for to con- mm-hmm. continue to grow and, you know, do more things and, you know, see where we can take uh, take the brand and then whether it's, um, you know, the, the more gyms or whether it's going online. Come on, more locations. Both. Yeah. You know, whatever happens, happens. Some uh, apparel. Yeah, I'm really open to pivoting into any mm-hmm. direction, kind of as things go. I want to be lead designer of OTG Apparel. I mean, have you seen this thing, dude? <laughs> yeah, I mean, have you seen this yeah, shirt, dude? It does look good. My God, I gotta say, I got, I had sleeves custom. Oh, I'm uh, sure they gotta, yeah. gotta be bigger for my biceps. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Looks All great right. on you Nothing too. else, Summer. Nope, that's it. Well, welcome to the team. Thank you. And uh, I'm sure Phil is glad to have you on board. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're gonna grow this thing. Yep. We're going to get some apparel. We're going to get some more locations. We're going to do, we're going to change the world. <laughs> that's right. Save the world. Yep. All right. That's it. We're out.